good evening everybody uh, we are back with our lecture on current affairs the series that we have been doing this year in today's lecture we will be taking very important topics both from prelims and mains aspects the first one that we are going to take is the drone rules of 2021 now uh, why have we taken this topic drone rules <coughs> because there has been a lot of buzz around these drone rules in uh, last uh, two years around two years okay and a lot of amendments in the existing rules and uh, uh, now these rules have been reformulated okay within three months within four months these new rules have been brought by the government because the earlier rules that were brought in around around like february uh, they were very opposed by the industry and the lobby groups okay because those rules were not very much consistent with the kind of uh, the with the kind of environment that we require for the research and development and uh, research and development of drones and the unmanned aerial vehicle systems okay so now the government has tried to address those concerns that existed in the previous rules and have brought these new drone rule, drone rules which are also called drone rules of 2021 so why in news <coughs> because the ministry of civil aviation has released the drone rules of 2021 under the aircraft act 1934 now whenever we talk about the rules the government cannot form rules in vacuum okay the government can form rules only under some specific act or some under some uh, constitutional provision that is why i have specifically mentioned that these drone rules have been brought under the aircraft act of 1934 these rules are going to supersede the earlier rules released in march 2021 so these rules are not only going to be the new rules but it these the rules are also going to supersede the existing rules that means the rules that were brought in march 2021 will no longer be effective okay to yahan pe do cheez important thi the first one was it has been brought under the aircraft act 1934 Aircraft Act 1934 mandates the government to form rules for the regulation and development of airport uh, like sorry aircraft and all these uh, like uh, aerial vehicles in India so under the provision of those rules ministry of civil aviation the nodal ministry which governs the aeroplane or these all these sectors in like aerial territory of India okay the the any kind of flying body in the aerial territory of India unless and unless unless and uh, like uh, unless it is an defense flying object like <clears throat> military drones or uh, military uh, aircraft or yeah, aeroplanes so other all bodies come under the ministry of civil aviation okay that is why it is called ministry of civil aviation matlab not the the ministry which is not does not deals with the military aviation but deals with civil rules theek hai a ministry of civil aviation ke under mein DGCA is the body directorate general of civil aviation which deals with all these rules and everything theek hai to DGCA is under ministry of civil aviation DGCA is the nodal body that deals deals with the rules and regulations of uh, the flying of air aeroplanes and all these objects okay so what has been the story so far as we have all all like always taken the perspective hai na to we are going to take again the perspective ki what has been the developments up till now in 2018 ministry of civil aviation rules on remotely operated aircraft systems okay now you can see here drone word is not specifically mentioned but it mentions remotely operated aircraft systems remotely operated means any aircraft system which is not manned manned matlab it is not being operated by a uh, on board pilot it is actually being operated by some uh, remote pilot that is called remotely uh, controlled yeah remotely operated aircraft systems in 2020 again ministry of civil Avi aviation released the draft draft it was not finalized rules but these are draft rules unmanned aircraft system rules for public consultation in 2020 lekin uh, these rules were like Uh, they were released for public consultation but 
public there was a public uh, outrage against these rules even the industry outraged against these rules because these rules restricted the ability of industry for research and development up to a very greater extent that is why these uh, rules were uh, like uh, most of the industry sector and most of the r and d sector opposed these rules still in march 2021 uh, this uas unarmed uh, unmanned aircraft system rules of 2021 were released in 2000 uh, march 2021 now again outrage again these rules i will tell you why the outrage and again 2021 august mein 28th of the august these new rules have been released they are called new drone rules 2021 so why why was there why why did government why did government have to go through like so much of pain in making like uh, amending the rules within a year twice you know so because in march 2021 us rules of 2021 were released ab us waqt hua kya tha ki a lot of cross border drone infiltration was taking place from pakistan theek hai to ministry what ministry did was in an attempt to curb the menace of incoming drones from the across the border of pakistan government decided to severely restrict any kind of operation of drones theek okay? hai and in that pursuit what it did was it it implemented such rules that restricted heavily any kind of drone movement and even drone development but that was very counterproductive because instead of curbing the menace of incoming drones it curbed the development of development and r&d of drones in domestic industry okay the the recent startups and the recent companies that have invested very heavily in the drone development and like uh, one of company amazon and zomato these two companies are looking very like uh, very optimistically towards achieving drone based delivery systems theek hai so that would have been very severely affected so iske liye fir kya hua ki industry and all these lobby groups they were like there was heavy criticism from all these industry and r&d and lobby groups against these rules so and now considering those criticisms government has brought these new 2021 rules so first of all we will see ki what kind of drone ya what kind of flying objects Does re- these rules try to regulate the first one as aeroplane? Sorry, aeroplane. It classifies drones into yeah. It classifies unmanned aircraft systems into three kind of basic uh, a- a- flying systems. The first one is aeroplane. The second one is hybrid unmanned aircraft, and the third one is rotor craft. Now, aeroplane is very similar. It looks very similar to the aeroplane conventional aeroplanes. Why? Here. जो फ्लाइंग टेक्नोलॉजी है इट इज नॉट बेस्ड ऑन रोटर टेक्नोलॉजी रैदर इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द कन्वेंशनल ड्रैग एंड लिफ्ट जो ड्रैग एंड लिफ्ट का फिनोमिना है बर्नौली थियोरम्स एंड ऑल तो उस क्योंकि इट हैज विंग स्पैन बिग बिग विंग स्पैन एंड इट फ्लाइज वेन इट मूव फॉरवर्ड इसके विंग्स पे ऊपर से ड्रैग नीचे से लिफ्ट एंड दैट इज हाउ द कन्वेंशनल एयरक्राफ्ट वर्क ठीक है तो दैट इज वाई दीज है ठीक है जो यूएस की ड्रोन्स हैं द वंस विच अटैक्ट प्रिसीजन अटैक्ट ड्रोन्स जो हैं वो सारी एरोप्लेन की कैटेगरी में आएंगी उसके बाद है हाइब्रिड अनमैंड एयरक्राफ्ट अनमैंड एयरक्राफ्ट मतलब ऑफ कोर्स इट इज नॉट बीइंग ऑपरेटेड बाय एन ऑन बोर्ड पायलट बट दीज आर हाइब्रिड इन द सेंस दैट यू कैन सी दे हैव रोटर्स ऑल्सो ठीक है एंड अ विंग ऑल्सो मीन्स दे हैव डूअल देर देर ऑपरेशन इज डूअल मोड दे हैव ऑल्सो rotors and as well as the drag and lift phenomena theek okay. so that is why they have been classified separately the third one is rotor craft rotor craft means inka jo propulsion mechanism hai okay that is completely based on rotors and they do not have wings like these two have wings right these do not have wings okay so they can they have the ability to fly directly on board like Uh, 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 they have the ability to fly like helicopters because helicopters can take off from the position vertically aeroplanes cannot take off aeroplanes cannot take off vertically all of course we are talking about the normal aeroplanes not about the military aircraft such some aircrafts having wings 
okay uh, jet fighters they are able to take off they have a different kind of mechanism we are not going into that but a total craft is able to take off directly from the land vertically even unmanned hybrid unmanned vehicle they can also take off but of course due to their wing the air drag or the air friction downwards will be higher as compared to the rotor craft aeroplane cannot take off from the position directly upwards they need some launching mechanism ya launch pad okay so these are three kind of basic classifications of the aeroplanes ya unmanned aircraft systems as provided in the drone rules of 2021 ये तो पहला क्लासिफिकेशन था बेस्ड ऑन द प्रोपल्शन मैकेनिज्म ठीक है द सेकंड वन इज अ सब क्लासिफिकेशन बेस्ड ऑन वेदर इट इज रिमोटली ऑपरेटेड और वेदर इट इज ऑटोनॉमस अब यहां पे दो चीजें हैं व्हाट इज रिमोटली ऑपरेटेड एंड व्हाट इज ऑटोनॉमस रिमोटली ऑपरेटेड मींस कि सम पर्सन सिटिंग ऑन द ग्राउंड इज एबल टू सी द विजुअल्स फ्रॉम द एरोप्लेन एंड ही ऑपरेट्स द एयरक्राफ्ट थ्रू अ जॉयस्टिक ऑटोनॉमस अनमैन एयरक्राफ्ट सिस्टम था दो सिस्टम विच डू नॉट नीड टू बी ऑपरेटेड ठीक है उनकी प्रोग्रामिंग ऐसी है कि दे डू नॉट नीड टू बी ऑपरेटेड बाई सम पायलट दे ऑटोमेटिकली गो टारगेट सम एरिया डू द रिक्वायर्ड पर्पज फॉर एग्जाम्पल रेकोनोसा और बॉम्बिंग एंड देन दे रिटर्न बैक टू द ओरिजिनल बेस दे आर ऑटोनॉमस ओके अब रिमोटली पायलटेड में दो किस्म के हैं द फर्स्ट वन इज रिमोटली पायलटेड एयरक्राफ्ट सिस्टम द सेकेंड वन इज remotely piloted uh, model remotely piloted aircraft system to ye model remotely piloted aircraft system koi nayi cheez nahi hai yahi remotely controlled aircraft system ko jab model ke form mein model ka matlab not a model means a prototype theek hai uh, like for example some startup or some company is testing its new prototype okay so that will be considered not remotely piloted aircraft system but under the category of model remotely piloted aircraft system model ka matlab as we know like when we were like in the school times we all made models science models so they were prototypes right so similarly these are model remotely piloted aircraft systems they are prototypes so uh, i i hope you understood the sub classification is very simple how uh, the first sub classification is ki are they remote like remotely operated hai na एंड द सेकेंड वन इज दे आर ऑटोनॉमस ऑटोनॉमस ठीक है ऑटोनॉमस मतलब ऑटोमेटिक सेल्फ पायलटेड या मतलब दे डू नॉट दे डोंट नीड टू हैव पायलट फॉर द फॉर देयर ऑपरेशन ओके फाइन तो फर्स्ट वन इज रिमोटली पायलटेड एंड सेकेंड वन इज ऑटोनॉमस तो रिमोटली पायलटेड में दो हैं द फर्स्ट वन इज कि जो लाइक कमर्शियल रिमोटली पायलटेड या रेगुलर रिमोटली पायलटेड जो भी रिमोटली पायलटेड एयरक्राफ्ट सिस्टम्स नॉर्मल एयर स्पेस में होंगे दैट विल बी कॉल्ड रिमोटली पायलटेड एयरक्राफ्ट सिस्टम्स ओके बट ऑल दो सिस्टम्स विच आर अ प्रोटोटाइप इन डेवलपमेंट ठीक है एंड विच डू नॉट एक्सी ट्वेंटी फाइव किलोग्राम्स दे विल बी कंसिडर्ड मॉडल रिमोटली पायलटेड एयरक्राफ्ट सिस्टम अब हम ये क्लासिफिकेशंस क्यों पढ़ रहे हैं बिकॉज द रूल्स फॉर दिस क्लासिफिकेशन आर डिफरेंट हर टाइप ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन के लिए डिफरेंट रूल्स ओके ओके फाइन दैट द फर्स्ट क्लासिफिकेशन वी सॉ वॉज बेस्ड ऑन द काइंड ऑफ प्रोपल्शन सिस्टम वेदर इट इज अ विंग बेस्ड प्रोपल्शन सिस्टम रोटर बेस्ड प्रोपल्शन सिस्टम और अ हाइब्रिड वन ओके द सेकेंड काइंड ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन वी सॉ वॉज बेस्ड ऑन द काइंड ऑफ ऑपरेशन इट वॉज टेकिंग प्लेस whether it was autonomous operation or it was a remotely piloted operating system the third time the third type of classification that we are going to see is related to its size and weight okay to yahan pe nano micro small medium and large yahan pe ye important hai prelims ke liye kyunki yahan pe se ek normal question ban sakta hai 
कि वॉट इज द लाइक कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग द न्यू ड्रोन रूल्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन उसमें आपको स्टेटमेंट दे देंगे कि माइक्रो ड्रोन्स आर दोज विच वे बिटवीन टू फिफ्टी ग्राम्स टू टू किलोग्राम्स तो ऐसे क्वेश्चन बन सकता है इसलिए ये वाली चीज़ें यू नीड टू रिमेंबर और दिस इज नॉट वेरी टफ इट इज़ वेरी ईजी एक्चुअली नैनो नैनो ड्रोन्स वो ड्रोन्स होंगी जिनका वेट टू फिफ्टी ग्राम से कम होगा माइक्रो विल बी दोज हुज वेट इज बिटवीन टू फिफ्टी ग्राम टू टू किलोग्राम्स स्मॉल विल बी दोज जो टू किलोग्राम से ट्वेंटी फाइव किलोग्राम्स फिर ट्वेंटी फाइव से वन फिफ्टी किलोग्राम्स एंड वन फिफ्टी से मोर वाली को लार्ज कहेंगे दिस इज द बेसिक क्लासिफिकेशन बट सिंस इट हैज बिन प्रोवाइडेड इन द एक्ट दैट इज वाई वी हैव टेकन इट हेयर एंड इट ऑल्सो फॉर्म्स एन इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ आवर प्रिलियम्स प्रिपरेशन तो क्लासिफिकेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस क्लासिफिकेशन नाउ नाउ वॉट आर द अदर आस्पेक्ट ऑफ दिस एक्ट दैट वी आर गोइंग टू लुक थ्रू द फर्स्ट वन इज सर्टिफिकेशन ऑफ द एक्ट सर्टिफिकेशन ऑफ द एयरक्राफ्ट लाइक विथ वट काइंड ऑफ सर्टिफिकेशन एन एयरक्राफ्ट वुड रिक्वायर द फर्स्ट वन इज द फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट वी आर गोइंग टू टेक इज द क्वालिटी काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया इज द नोडल बॉडी मीन्स डी जी सी ए डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ सिविल एवियशन अलॉन्ग विद क्वालिटी काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया विल डिसाइड वॉट काइंड ऑफ टाइप डिजाइन या टाइप सर्टिफिकेशन दैट नीड टू बी इशूड ना वॉट आर टाइप सर्टिफिकेशन या टाइप डिजाइन टाइप सर्टिफिकेशन इज स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ सर्टिफिकेशन इशूड टू एयरक्राफ्ट टू मेक दम कंप्लाई विद सम काइंड ऑफ डिजाइन रूल्स अब ये डिजाइन रूल्स क्या है फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर अ कंपनी विच इज डिजाइनिंग इफ यू आर अ कंपनी विच इज डिजाइनिंग अ सर्टन काइंड ऑफ एयरप्लेन तो ये यू नीड टू टेक सम टाइप सर्टिफिकेशन फ्रॉम डी जी सी ए अब टाइप सर्टिफिकेशन आपको कौन सा क्यों जरूरत पड़ेगी दैट टाइप सर्टिफिकेशन विल स्पेसिफाई दैट यूर एयरक्राफ्ट और एरोप्लेन कंप्लाइज या इज इन कंप्लायंस विद द सर्टन काइंड ऑफ डिजाइन स्पेसिफिकेशन एंड रिक्वायरमेंट्स दैट आर मैंडेटेड बाई डी जी सी ए है ना कि आपको अपनी विंग स्पैन अगर आपकी एयरप्लेन का वेट इतना है है ना तो लाइक अगर हंड्रेड टन का आपका एयरोप्लेन है तो आपको विंग स्पैन इतना रखना पड़ेगा फ्यूसलाज इतना रखना पड़ेगा कॉकपिट इतना बड़ा होना चाहिए आपके कॉक आपके एयरक्राफ्ट में ये वाले एडवांस कंट्रोल सिस्टम्स लगे होने चाहिए तो ये जो सारी रिक्वायरमेंट्स हैं दे आर प्रोवाइडेड इन द टाइप सर्टिफिकेशन ओके व्हेन अ डिजाइन व्हेन एन एयरक्राफ्ट इज मॉडल्ड एंड डिजाइंड तो वो डिजाइन फिर डी को भेजा जाता है डी जी डायरेक्टरेट जनरल ऑफ सिविल एवियशन तो डी जी सी ए विल वेरीफाई वेदर दैट डिजाइन कन्फॉर्म्स टू द एग्जिस्टिंग पैरामीटर्स ऑफ द टाइप सर्टिफिकेशन और नॉट ओके या एग्जिस्टिंग पैरामीटर्स ऑफ वट काइंड ऑफ एरोप्लेन शुड बी डिजाइंड इन हाउ इन वट मैनर इफ दैट्स दैट कन्फॉर्म्स टू दैट स्पेसिफिक स्टैंडर्ड देन द टाइप सर्टिफिकेशन इज इशूड नाउ क्वालिटी काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया क्यू सी आई विल बी द नोडल बॉडी टू प्रोवाइड द सर्टिफिकेशन बट डिजाइन पैरामीटर्स प्रोवाइड करेगा कौन क्वालिटी काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया इन कंसल्टेशन विद डी जी सी ए आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दैट now there are certain kind of exemptions this means uh, no one will be allowed to fly any kind of aircraft which does not have a type certification okay that is the important point we need to note here no type of certificate however exemptions have been made certain exemptions have been made they are no type certificate shall be provided <coughs> yeah required for operating what a model remotely piloted aircraft system now again we understand what a model remotely piloted aircraft system is model matlab a prototype for example of if a startup or a company is designing some ya yeah, testing its model hai na to its prototype then it does not need a type certification okay a nano unmanned unmanned aircraft system okay any nano unmanned aircraft system they will also not be required to have a type certificate okay तो नैनो नैनो मतलब 250 ग्राम से कम जिन ड्रोन्स का वेट हो वो एंड द मॉडल रिमोटली पाइलटेड एयरक्राफ्ट सिस्टम्स तो दे विल नॉट बी रिक्वायर्ड टू हैव दे विल नॉट बी रिक्वायर्ड टू हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ टाइप सर्टिफिकेशन टू फ्लाई नाउ द थर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ यू द फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज नो यू शैल बी रिक्वायर बी अलाउड टू फ्लाई without registration except in the case exemption has been provided for certain kind of 
UAVs. Now we'll be looking at what kind of exemptions have been provided and what kind of registration have been provided. The person owning a UAV shall register the UAV on Digital Sky Platform. Uh, this is the web website of Digital Sky Platform. I took the snapshot, but still it is in the development phase. It has not been yet finalized because when these rules are coming, after that this website is in this mode. It Digital Sky is being upgraded. Thank you for your patience and support. That means the website is under upgradation so that it can like accommodate the new rules. Now, every UAV owner, every UAV owner will have to register their device or register their UAV on the Digital Sky platform within the 30 days and they will have to get a unique identification number. When you register your aircraft, they will ask you specific like specifications ka aircraft kaun se, uh, what kind of radio waves pe aapka aircraft chalta hai theek hai aapki aircraft ka propulsion system kya hai aapki aircraft ka weight kya hai and in sare parameters ke base pe jab aap fill kar doge form to they will provide you a unique identification number that will be uh, that will be like your ownership number of that like sim number kind of okay to <coughs> ye unique identification number aapke device ka ho jayega aapki drone ka ho jayega the ownership of the UAV is transferable. This is a very important point. Like ownership of vehicles is transferable. Similarly, ownership of UAV will also be transferable. And one can also deregister the UAV in case the UAV is permanently damaged or lost. In case the UAV is lost or permanently damaged, the person can also deregister it from the Digital Sky platform. Okay, is that understood? तो ये तो हो गया कि what kind of drone हम operate कर सकते हैं and under what conditions ठीक है तो if one person is owning a drone तो what he should do now operation operation of a drone like what kind of operation can take place तो the whole geographic area has been divided into three zones red zone green zone and yellow zone we will first take green zone ठीक है तो green zone का meaning हुआ Green zone में two type of green zones have been uh, uh, like two type of green zones have been determined and no permission is required to fly in green zone up to a vertical distance of 400 feet or 120 meter okay vertical distance of up to 200 feet or 60 meter between 8 to 12 kilometer distance from the perimeters of the airports okay so we will try to understand this in a bit of detail like up to a vertical distance of 120 meters okay and see what they're saying is what they're saying is ki aap drone fly kar sakte ho green zones mein without any special permission lekin what are green zones theek hai so we'll try to understand for example, this is an air, aircraft, oh sorry, airport. This is an airport, okay. Now, airport say 12 kilometers, okay. Or yeh 12 kilometers ke beyond, okay. So, 12 kilometers ke beyond, no permission will be required to fly an aircraft up to the vertical height of 120 meters, okay and between 8 to 12 kilometers from the aircraft between 8 to 12 okay this air, airport hai, 8 kilometers ab 8 se 12 kilometer ke beech mein aap fly kar sakte ho bina permission ke but only up to 60 meters okay matlab 8 to ek airport se 8 kilometer distance tak aap koi airplane fly nahi kar sakte without permission theek hai 8 to 12 km ke distance mein aap 60 kilo, 60 meter height tak vertical fly kar sakte ho without any permission 12 to beyond you can fly without permission up to 120 meters this is called green zone classification ab ye pura portion green zone mein aayega ye wala aayega green zone gz2 and gz1 you do not you do not need to fly you do not need to have any kind of special permission to fly you know? but you need to register your you cannot fly unregistered UAV okay you need to have your UAV registered and the other thing you have to see 
कि यू विल हैव टू चेक ऑन द वेबसाइट ऑफ डिजिटल स्काई प्लेटफॉर्म ओके डिजिटल स्काई डिजिटल स्काई प्लेटफॉर्म whether if there has been any advisory or not if there is an advisory you will have to follow that advisory otherwise you don't have to like register or take permission from anyone so i hope you understood now the second one is yellow zone yellow zone mein uh, it seems ki wahan se dikh nahi raha but still i'll read it aloud area above 120 meters in green zone and area above 60 meters in green zone two again we'll back to we'll be taking back <clears throat> okay to ye to ho gaya green zone 1 aur green zone 2 green zone 1 and green zone तो ग्रीन जोन वन और ग्रीन जोन टू में फ्लाई करने के लिए किसी परमिशन की जरूरत नहीं होगी अब ग्रीन जोन टू क्या है ग्रीन जोन वन है 120 मीटर्स तक और ग्रीन जोन ग्रीन जोन टू क्या है 60 मीटर्स तक मतलब इस पूरे एयर स्पेस में फ्लाई करने के लिए हमें किसी परमिशन की जरूरत नहीं होगी और ये होगा ग्रीन जोन बियॉन्ड दिस बियॉन्ड दिस एंड बियॉन्ड हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी मीटर्स इन दिस जोन यू विल नीड टू टेक परमिशन फ्रॉम डी फॉर फ्लाइंग द ड्रोन दैट इज वाई दिस इज कॉल्ड येलो जोन तो येलो ग्रीन जोन क्या हो गया जीरो टू सिक्सटी मीटर बिटवीन एट एंड ट्वेल्व किलोमीटर एरिया फ्रॉम द एयरपोर्ट एंड बियॉन्ड ट्वेल्व किलोमीटर एरिया हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी मीटर्स तक ग्रीन जोन नो परमिशन रिक्वायर्ड बियॉन्ड दीज टू जोन परमिशन विल बी रिक्वायर्ड एंड दैट इज वाई दिस इज कॉल्ड येलो जोन तो आप समझ गए मतलब यू कैन नॉट फ्लाई एनी काइंड ऑफ ड्रोन विद इन द एट किलोमीटर पेरीफेरी ऑफ एन एयरपोर्ट एट किलोमीटर के बियॉन्ड आप 12 किलोमीटर तक मतलब ये 4 किलोमीटर का जो एरिया है 4 किलोमीटर की जो लेंथ है इसमें आप फ्लाई कर सकते हो 60 मीटर तक बिना किसी परमिशन के 60 मीटर के बियॉन्ड आपको परमिशन लेनी पड़ेगी अब 12 किलोमीटर के बियॉन्ड आप फ्लाई कर सकते हो 120 मीटर तक वर्टिकल हाइट पे बिना किसी परमिशन के 120 किलोमीटर के हंड्रेड मीटर के बियॉन्ड आपको परमिशन लेनी पड़ेगी बिकॉज यू विल बी देन फ्लाइंग इन द येलो जोन तो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस बोथ थिंग्स नाउ रेड जोन तो रेड ये तो ग्रीन जोन और येलो जोन का सिंपल क्लासिफिकेशन था व्हाट इज रेड जोन रेड जोन मींस एनी एयर स्पेस डिफाइंड विद विद हैविंग डिफाइंड डायमेंशंस फॉर एग्जांपल मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डिफेंस कैन लिमिट द काइंड ऑफ एयर ड्रोन्स दैट कैन फ्लाई विद इन इट्स ओन पेरीफेरी ठीक है इन अ कैंट एरिया फॉर एग्जाम्पल कैंटोनमेंट एरिया देर कैन बी लाइक रिस्ट्रिक्शन ऑन फ्लाइंग ड्रोन ठीक है तो एनी काइंड ऑफ any kind of special special zone that has been notified by the government where the drones cannot be flyed without the permission of central government that will be classified as red zone and it can be anywhere theek hai to i i hope you understood green zone yellow zone and red zone now research development and testing this has also been important part Uh, what are the new changes that we are going to see no need for type certificate unique identification number prior permission and remote pilot license okay uh, for flying a drone only you also need to have a remote pilot license theek hai wo aapko 1000 rupees deke aapko training hogi basic and then you will be able to procure that but for research and development purpose you would not be required to have any kind of type certificate uin number prior permission and remote pilot license ab ye kon kon si categories hai research and development entity under the administrative control or recognized by the government both state and central any educational institution any startup now any startup recognized by dipit department of promotion of industrial and in industries and industry industry uh, sorry internal trade and any authorized testing entity now what will be testing entity testing entity will do be those entities which will be able to test the drones for the specific parameters which quality council of india prescribes theek hai any unmanned aircraft system manufactured manufacturer having goods and service tax uh, good uh, gst identification number matlab manufacturers will also be not required to have any kind of type certificate uin prior permission and remote pilot license 
तो इन अर्लियर रूल्स दैट वर रिलीज इन मार्च ये सारे इंस्टीट्यूशन पर बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग रिस्ट्रिक्शन थे एंड ओनली दो इंस्टीट्यूशन वर अलाउड टू कैरी ऑन द रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट विच हैव बीन आइडेंटिफाइड बाई द डी आर डी ओ या सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ठीक है नाउ दीज रिस्ट्रिक्शन हैव बिन रिमूव एंड यू कैन सी द रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन स्टार्टअप ऑथोराइज टेस्टिंग एजेंसी एंड इवन मैनुफेक्चर है लॉट ऑफ ब्यूरोक्रेटिक हर्डल एंड अ लॉट ऑफ रजिस्ट्रेशन एंड लाइक अदर थिंग्स now the drone rules 2021 what has changed we are going to see a comparative analysis of the rules that were released in 20, uh, march 2021 and the 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 rules that have been released now the first one is uh, the, in the earlier rules we were required to fill at least 25 forms aur wahan pe the fees thi the fees varied from rupees 500 theek hai rupees 500 to 25000 now This has been brought to hundred rupees to thousand rupees. Maximum fees is for report remote pilot license, and that is rupees thousand. पहले twenty five forms fill करने होते थे, अब five forms fill करने हैं, ठीक है? पहले research and development में बहुत strong barriers था, that has been removed now. Limited permission as per the approved operations manual. Drone deliveries वाला एक बहुत important point है that that we need to note is. Like companies like Amazon and uh, Zomato and all this Flipkart, they are trying to like explore the opportunities in drone-based delivery systems, you know. But the earlier rules restricted heavily. Now these rules, the rules that we are studying, they have uh, allowed for a special kind of corridor for uh, easier and safer delivery mechanisms by these uh, companies. Okay. तो नाउ ड्रोन बेस्ड डिलीवरी हैज बीन अलाउड मैक्सिमम पेनल्टी पहले कितनी थी फाइव लाख रुपीज थी दैट हैज बीन रिड्यूस टू रुपीज वन लैख एयर स्पेस मैपिंग वॉज नॉट अवेलेबल पहले क्या था एयर स्पेस मैपिंग वॉज नॉट अवेलेबल नाउ इंटरक्टिव एयर स्पेस मैप इज नाउ डिजिटल स्काई प्लेटफॉर्म पे वेन यू आर गोइंग टू रजिस्टर तो यू विल बी एबल टू सी इंटरक्टिव मैप कि आप कहाँ कहाँ फ्लाई कर सकते हो and that map will be valid for the next 30 days okay to ye aisa koi provision pehle nahi tha to pehle bahut sara restriction laga tha that has been removed the restrictions have been liberalized and this is going to be a uh, like step forward in the direction of making india atmanirbhar in the drone technology okay and drone, drone is the like we can say that the, it is the future of uh, the startups that we are going to develop hai na so that is why it is very important